Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays, everybody. This is Mona Me again. And I just want to tell everybody um, Happy Holidays and blessings to everybody watching. Um, I'm very in the Christmassy mood this year. This is my first Christmas in my new place. So, to be honest with you, when Christmas came around, I didn't really feel like doing it up. But over time, I got in the mood. And I got a real tree right here, my first ever real tree, and I got a fake one over here. <laughs> so, I'm very much in the mood. Oh, but let me show you guys something also. Um, this phone case, isn't it cute? I, I bought this phone case last year, but I was just thinking about something that was funny. You know how it has this little bar thing right here? And I guess that's supposed to be to set up your phone, like if you want to watch a movie or a show it's supposed to be like a phone stand but it's so funny because I was thinking about yesterday like I always thought this was like a ring but it, it low key is a good idea like if you if anybody from New York and you know how it how it is on the train that one person that's sitting right next to the door and then a thief comes and snatch your iPad <laughs> This is low-key a good idea to hold on to your merchandise from falling. Because you could just put it on like that and hold it, right? Like, I think that's what, to me, that's what I thought it was for. But I just thought that was cute and interesting. But I'm sitting in my comfortable chair. Yo, this chair is so comfortable. This is one of those new bungee chairs. Bruh. It's mad comfortable. Like, I really feel like, I bought three of them. I bought one for my Secret Santa. One, I'm going to give to my friend. That's this one. And the other one's in my room. But it's bad comfortable. Like, I love this shit. But, I just want to talk about something that's been on my mind. It's basic, like, what is a culture, a culture vulture? Like, does anybody have their opinion on what a culture vulture is? Because I'm tired of people using that term, culture vulture. Like, a lot of people over this past couple days, over these past couple days, Drake went to Jamaica for Christmas or for around the Christmas holiday. Drake went to Jamaica, and we all know Drake and Khaled. They do their little Jamaican accents and stuff, and it's funny. But they do their little Jamaican accents. So, everybody in the comments are going off saying, oh, he's a culture vulture. He's a, he's a culture vulture. He's a culture vulture. First of all, how is he a culture vulture? Like, do you really feel it? Like, I really think some people, he be talking better than y'all. Like, how is he a culture vulture? Like, I don't care. I'm going to defend Drake to the end. Like, I don't lost friendships over defending Drake. I don't care. I'm going to really defend Drake because how is he a... Drake is the bomb. Like, Drake really got song, songs and moves for days. He has a song, a hit for every move. And he just got that it factor. Like, some people just really have that it factor. Like, look at Cardi B, how she blew up. It's that they just got it. You know, you got to get on their props. They got it. But how is he a cultural vulture because he's speaking in his little fake patois and stuff? How is that a culture vulture? But a lot of his friends are from the Caribbean. That's one. Two, he's from Toronto, which has a lot of Caribbean um, influence over there. I just came from Toronto. A lot of Caribbean influence over there. So how is he a cultural vulture? Like, I look at it like Drake is putting Pop Can in a position to make millions and be rich. He's helping one of y'all own to succeed. So why are you calling him a culture vulture if he's helping one of your own? Because that's how I look at it. Like he's helping somebody career. He he is, you know. And people that sit there and call people culture vultures, ask yourself, what are you doing for your culture? Are you doing something for your culture? Are you respecting your culture? Are you doing something for your community? Or, like, why are you going to call somebody a culture vulture? And if somebody is praising your culture, 
why do you call them a culture culture vulture? Because I really don't think Drake is trying to be Jamaican. I just think he likes the culture. He likes, like, you know, likes the culture, likes the food, as we all do, likes the music and stuff. I don't think he's trying to be Jamaican. Like, when Drake first came out, Drake was represented for the Dominicans and Dykeman. Not Dominicans and Dykeman, but Drake was represented for the Dominican people and he was so popping in Dykeman in like 08, 07, 08. All, all the Dominicans was was bumping Drake and stuff. And I think that's kind of smart. Like even when Jay-Z shot it out um, in a New York song, he was like, all, all of my Dominicanos up there on Broadway. Like, you know, sure, New York is a whole melting pot of people, cultures, ethnicities, and everything. And you kind of... Look at Cardi B, for example. Cardi B has an accent of, like, a whole bunch of cultures. Like, she sometimes she sounds Southern, with, mixed with a little Dominican, mixed, mixed with a little Trini. She has, even though she's mixed, she has that multi-influential feel, if that makes any sense. Like, it, even Nikki, you see Nikki, Nikki will do her Trini bag gal thing, and then she'll switch it up with her little preppy uppity stuff and then she'll be her little Roman and then she um expresses a lot of love for Asian culture. That's I I really just think that's that comes with being from New York. You get to experience a lot of cultures and you kind of adapt. Even though Drake is not from New York, Drake is from Toronto and Toronto is very similar to me to New York in my opinion. And there is a lot of cultural influences in Toronto, how it is in New York. But my, but like I said, back to the subject, why are you calling somebody a culture vulture because they praising your culture or because they repping your culture? Like, so what? You Most of y'all don't even be repping y'all culture like that. Or most of y'all go, most of y'all go somewhere and y'all get, y'all get somebody that's an opposite race. Do you hear somebody saying something to you about about um your culture or culture vulture vulture? Like, come on, man. Like a culture vulture to me is somebody that goes invades people land, try to buying up all the properties, the businesses, like trying to steal a whole tribe of people and take their culture. That's a culture vulture. Or somebody out here that profits off of like African styles and African clothes and makes clothes like that and then t makes billions of dollars off of old traditional African outfits and don't give back to the African community or the African countries. That's a culture vulture. But don't call Drake no culture vulture because Drake is not a culture vulture. Like, y'all really need to stop. Y'all dragging it. Y'all pushing it. Like, why are you mad? Drake is doing something for one of your own. Like, even, even like I said, even DJ Khaled linking with Buju Benton is gonna kind of help his career. Not saying, but Buju, not saying that Buju don't got it because everybody loves Buju. All the Caribbean people love Buju and Buju been popular, but that's going to help him even if Khaled just give him a, a hit or two, you know, produce a few hits or two. That's still going to help him either way. But, yo, y'all be killing me with this culture vulture stuff. And then it's like a lot of people come over here from, this is an example, a lot of people come over here from other countries, right? And you want to go um, drink your coffee in the morning with your little suit, go play on a golf course, go do whatever. Whatever is the typical American thing to do. Is somebody calling you a culture vulture? Like, or are you just adapted to a society that you've been a part of. Like, what is it? And I really just feel like everybody, people of color, we all need to come to understanding and we all need to grow and learn together. But I think slowly but surely we get in it together. Like, Caribbean music and Afrobeats music, it sounds very similar. And like a lot of, I'm hearing a lot of Caribbean and Afro 
beat style musicians working together and making great hits. Like Chronix, for example. Chronix is a like a reggae artist, but he uses he has a lot of Afro beats type of songs. But I think, but like I said, I think people of color really need to come together. Stop judging each other because Drake is a person of color now. Like Drake, Drake is his dad is black, so we all need to come together. But I think, like I said, slowly but surely, we are getting it together as people of color. And we need to really unite and stop judging each other. Stop having so many disagreements and try to understand each other. Like, that's another thing with culture. Like, people, like African people, right? So African people and black Americans really don't get along. Like, we don't get along with each other. And we all... Probably, we all, not probably, we all came from the same place. So, I, but I can understand, like, Africans, a uh, few Africans I know, and Haitians, and even Jamaicans, Trinities, Virgin Island people, they always say, oh, Americans are dumb, Americans are dumb, y'all dumb, y'all dumb. Why are you calling Americans dumb? Why are you calling, why are you calling us dumb and, and stupid? Black, black Americans, not all black Americans are the same. And we just really need to stop judging each other and talking down on each other. But I low-key can understand why they feel that way because I remember being in elementary school and even I even see it online or hear it in the street sometimes. But people calling that, that's the term African booty scratching. Whoever, who knows how long that, that insulting term has been about but maybe they feel like okay y'all looking down on me i'm gonna look i'm gonna talk about you you talk about me i'm gonna talk about you and it's just an ongoing back and forth thing like we all just need to stop and we all need to come together and we all need to unite and i'm i think we're gonna get it together slowly but surely but i just wanted to really express my opinions about culture vulture that term like stop using it so loosely like we all need to unite. We all need to help each other. We all need to try to make this wicked world a better place. And that's why I was um, online reading, listening to something that Shaka Bars was saying. Shaka Bars is real popular on Instagram. I've been following him for a while now. And he's a real deep brother. And he always gives me some like some kind of motivation because Shaka Bars is doing a lot for... Doing a lot for... Africans in Africa and people of color overseas. So I really respect that guy. And a lot of the times there be people that's not even from where you from and they doing more for your community community than you doing. Chaka Bart is from what the UK or London and he's in Africa. He's in the Congo. He's everywhere helping out, making the world a better place. Even his friend Omega Axel, I follow him too, another deep run on Instagram. And even he's doing a lot of stuff about educated black people. And Omega's not even full black. Omega's like Drake, half white, half black. So it's like, stop calling somebody a culture vulture. What are you doing for your culture? What are you doing to protect your culture? What are you doing to praise your culture? Like, don't don't throw stones if you have a house made of glass. Like, I'm just tired. I'm just so sick of the judgment. Like, I know I'm probably all over with this video, but I just really wanted to express my mind, my thoughts, and my feelings about that. Like, I really, like I said earlier, a culture vulture is somebody stealing your culture. Somebody making African clothes and that's not African and getting millions of dollars off of it. Stealing stuff from black communities and getting rich off of it. You know, that's a culture vulture. But you can't call somebody a culture a culture vulture for affiliating themselves with your with your people. You can't sit there and call somebody a culture vulture because of that. 
and when I went to Jamaica, a lot of the locals were saying, like, I was, I asked them, because I was giving up, I was like, Drake came on the radio when I was going there, and I was like, you know, what you think of Drake? We were talking about all artists, Damien, Marley, Chronics, Popcorn, a lot of people. We was, I was just conversating about the music. And he, I was like, what you think of Drake? And he was like, yeah, you know, Drake has a lot of dealings with the people here in Jamaica, and um, they like him. Basically, that's that's what some of the locals I came across were saying. Like, and I'm not obsessed with Drake, but I just really feel like you need to stop calling everybody a culture a culture vulture, especially if somebody's praising your culture. Why they got nobody's not trying to steal your culture from you because they praising it. Like, I'm sure Khaled knows he's Arabic or whatever he is, and I'm sure Drake knows he's he's Canadian and Jewish and black. Like. I just need to stop using that term so loosely and make it your business to do something for your for your culture for 2019. How about that? But, like I said, I know I'm probably all over the place with this video, but I just really wanted to express that because people just be aggravated sometimes. But, y'all have a good holiday, okay? Yeah, and one more thing. So when I was watching the Bob Marley documentary, in the documentary, do you know what they said? They said that Bob Marley didn't want to go back to Jamaica after, I forgot what the name of the concert was, but it was a concert that he had and they shot at him. And after that, Bob Marley was just like, F Jamaica. Like, he was done. He didn't even want to go back there like half the time it really just be your own people you know trying to tear you down or trying to bring you down and even Bob Marley said the majority of his supporters were from Europe so that's a little food for thought think about that before you want to judge someone else or call somebody a culture vulture are you being a good influence on your culture it's just, it's food for thought, you know? And even one of the mother, mothers of Bob Marley's children, Cindy Breakspear, Damian Marley's mom, she even said in another documentary that I was watching about Bob that a lot of people, you know, Bob would just be sitting outside giving out money and a lot of people would be coming over there with their hands out, like sometimes like coming every day, every day, every day, every day for money, you know? And expected that he give it to them. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's what was said on the documentary. You know. So half the time. We really just need to all. Re-evaluate ourselves. And. Work on ourselves. And work on each other. And my friend. One of my friends from Jersey. He's Jamaican. He began on me. When I be telling him like. Oh you know. You need to stick to your culture. It's all about culture. 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 Culture of Black People Unite, Black People Unite. And he told me, like, he asked me one day, he was like, you have you ever gotten to, gotten into a fight? And I was like, yeah, I have. And he was like, I was like, have you? And he was like, yeah, I have. And he was like, the guy was, the guy was black, my own, my own people, you know? Like, anytime he ever had a problem was with his own people. And now that I think about it, anytime that I ever had a problem was with my own people. So we really need to stop trying to tear each other down. Stop being so negative. Stop being so judgmental. That's my goal for 2019. And I love my people. Like, I I will go to war for my people. I really am real vocal about, about black people uniting and all black people. African people, Caribbean people, American black people and everything. Everybody needs to unite. And... Another thing I have to say about all the people that, that claim somebody that is trying to steal their culture. So, you live in the States, right? You see me. I'm all Christmassy up. I got on my Santa hat and I got on my Christmas pajamas, right? So, a lot of people that's from the Caribbean and overseas, because I have friends that's from there, they tell me like, oh, we don't celebrate Christmas. You know, they're very Christian and they're very into Jesus. 
and they understand that it's Jesus' birthday and the sun is to celebrate holy and Jesus Christ's birthday and and be spiritual. And they was like and she was like, Yeah, we don't we don't um give out gifts and stuff. We don't be all Christmas lights. She was like, Y'all do it up over here. We don't be we don't do all Christmas lights and stuff, but we just give out gifts and give thanks and be loving and family like. Right. But a lot of people are starting to that's from those places. They are starting to celebrate Christmas and adapt to the American way, if you will. You know, like getting Christmas trees and stuff like that. So we not calling nobody that's doing agriculture vulture. So why you want to say somebody's stealing your culture? You we all adapt to our circumstances, if you will. We all adapt and emulate some type of somebody's culture. Either way, if I get a hairstyle that's that's bone straight Brazilian, not Brazilian, but bone straight whatever hair. I might look a little bit more like something else. We all emulate and take stuff from people's cultures. So don't sit here and be so judgmental about a culture vulture. But I'm done. I'm done wasting my opinion. If you have an opinion or if you disagree or whatever, you can feel free to comment. But I just really wanted to voice that because we all, we all take a little bit. We all give and take a little bit of people's culture so we all just need to stop being so judgmental and all unite as one and that's all i really get to say i don't know one more thing one more thing i'm so sorry i don't keep saying that but one more thing so um this guy i follow on facebook he has this organization called one brigade or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure what it is but basically he brings bikes to the children in Jamaica. And I just think that's the sweetest thing because it's all about the children. It's all about making them happy, you know? And I just think that's an awesome thing to do. Like, it's something that you wouldn't even think of because a lot of people, they want to, you know, donate clothes, food, stuff like that. But this man brings bicycles, like literally truckloads of bicycles to Jamaica. So I posted it because, on my snap because I thought that was just so amazing and so loving. And the guy... A Jamaican guy replies like, hey, big ups to him, but the kids of Jamaica, they don't need bikes. So I'm like, so what do they need? And he, he didn't have an answer for me. They need love. Everybody needs love. It's all about love. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit here and, and say, oh, oh, they don't need bikes. They don't, or you trashing what somebody else is doing. What you doing? That's what I should have said to him. What are you doing? You know, that's just food for thought, though. Like, that's just food for thought. But I'm going to finish enjoying my holiday. Y'all have a good holiday in the year. Bye-bye.